time knows no frontiers. To combat the growing menace of the international criminal, the police forces of the world have opened up their own national boundaries. At their headquarters in Paris, scientifically equipped to match the speed of the jet age, 63 nations have linked together to form the International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol. <laughs> was picked up here. A British destroyer is towing it into Mombasa. The destroyer reports native Dao in sinking condition abandoned. No ship's papers, no name or registration, no cargo. Just 16 dead natives battened down in the hold. Two killed by gunshot wounds. Why has this come through to us? Well, the East African police think it may be a slave ship. They know we're interested. Slave ship? Well, it's in the right area. I'd like to be there when they tow it in. Interpol have been invited, but I think it would be a wasted journey. It's worth a try. Oh, face the facts, Paul. Look at all these files. Every one of them on slave trading and hardly one actual case. Nothing but third-hand reports and rumors. But we know it goes on. The fact that so little is done about it is no credit to the country's concern. Half the governments in the world have made protests. Protests? Protests won't give the slaves back their freedom. Listen. Mohammed Hussein, arrested September 1955 by the Iraq police, sentenced to 10 years. He was trying to sell 50 girl children into slavery. But they were lucky, they caught him red-handed. Jean, there ought to be hundreds of convictions listed here, not just a few odd cases. There ought to be. But nobody can act when there's nothing to go on. All right. Pilgrims to Mecca. An estimated 23,000 Africans a year leave the country to visit Mecca. Of these, about 10,000 only ever return to their villages. Is that concrete enough? Yes, solid. Jean, 13,000 people are missing every year. If only 10% of them are taken by slave traders, think of the human suffering involved. All right, Paul, you've made your point. Let's hope it is a lead. Inspector Duval. Yes? I'm Briggs. Oh, how do you do? If you don't mind, we'll go straight to the harbor. We'll drop you at the hotel later. Come along, Sergeant. Hurry it up. Yes, sir. The Dow is due in a bombastic any time now. I'm sure no one will sail it away again, Colonel. We ought to be at the harbor by the time it arrives to stop our Half Her Majesty's Navy climbing all over it. Have you had any more reports from the destroyer towing it? Not a word. Only hope the confounded string hasn't broken, that's all. Push it along, Sergeant, this isn't a funeral. Colonel Briggs. Commander Siddons, senior naval officer. Inspector Duval, Interpol. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Well, now, Commander, did your chaps manage to bring that dow in without sinking it? It's anchored outside the harbor. In quarantine. In quarantine? The other 14 people on board died of plague. So that's why it was abandoned. Very well, Commander. What's the story? Well, the Dow was first sighted here. Half sinking with a hole stove in her. One of the two shot natives managed to plug her partly before he died. Any idea how long they'd been dead? Well, the destroyer surgeon estimated four days. How far could that boat have drifted in four days, Commander? Well, I'd say about 100 miles in a southwesterly course. 
But, um, there, eh? That's assuming they didn't leave the engine running. An engine? Well, lots of native craft are power these days. That could give us a lead. We could check back the make and the number. Probably changed hands a dozen more times. Still, we can try. Is there a chance of identifying any of those bodies? Well, the doctor thinks they're East Africans, but I'm having them photographed. East Africans? Probably thinking they were on the pilgrimage to Mecca. But that's where they'd be taken, to Oman. The slave markets. We'll have a tough job proving it. We are going to try. If we can stop up just one of those slave routes, it's something. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks for your help, citizens. Bye, Colonel. That'll give you a stiff arm. You can't take chances with plague. You know, maybe the plague can help us trace those pilgrims on the boat. How? Well, if we knew where they contracted the disease, maybe we could get a line on their route. A check with the World Health Organization could tell us. They'd know the location of all recent outbreaks. Right, I'll fix it. Thank you, Doctor. Meanwhile, here's something for Interpol to work on. Here's the Dow's engine number. Oh. Make ESW number 40361. I'll put this through to Paris. One more thought, Colonel. Yes? This disease has an incubation period of seven days. So? Well, the crew of that boat must have come ashore somewhere near. It is possible they're infected. It's nothing. Overeating. Three days in a boat without food. The stomach shrivels. Like, like a knife. Twisting. It will pass. Now I must go. The Frenchman must be told about the ship. The pain will go soon. Is it? Gavin. Tommy. Fool, what are you doing here? Defending the ship. I know. You know? But we sank it. You didn't. It was found and towed in. And the, the cattle? All dead. The radio news has been full of it. Then we are safe, Effendi. No one can trace us. Do you think the police are idiots? Why wasn't the boat sunk properly? My son Abdul, he, he cut a hole in the boat. He thought it would sink. He thought. Where is he now? He's sick. He has a cramp. 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 The plague. Keep away from me. It is nothing, Effendi. Abdul has just eaten too much after three days of fasting in the boat. He may still be in your clothes. Burn them. Now! At once! Go into the warehouse, find other things, anything, but burn those. If you wish, if any. I want an upcountry number, a Kello 38. That's right. Renoir speaking. You heard the radio? Yeah, the shipment was ours. No, no, both the crew escaped. But I think the boy has the plague. Oh, no, I, I couldn't. You, you, you mustn't ask me to. Hello? Hello? speaking. Oh, yes, put him on. Hello, Jean. What's keeping you out of bed? Insomnia. I thought I'd pass it on. Ready? Go ahead. ESW Marine Engine number 40361, made in Hamburg, 1944. Issued to the German Navy. After the war, sold to a Danish fishing boat. Finally bought by a dealer 
in Mombasa. Did you get his address? The dealer's name is Azad. Address, Jameson Road, Mombasa. All right. Yes. Thank you. Good night. Engines are head, Colonel, sir. All excellent in condition. A very good bargain. For you, no doubt. A poor man must eat. I made only a small profit when I sold. A very small profit indeed, sir. It is all here in my file. I keep honest records, Colonel, sir. What particular number was your great interest? ESW 40361. Yeah, give me that. Lenoir and Company, shippers. The transaction was a legal one, Colonel, sir. Mr. Lenoir understood it was a scrap engine. All very correct. You're a rogue, Azad. Think yourself lucky you're not the one we're after. A case of plague has been reported, Colonel. Here in Mombasa? A dead man found in the harbor, sir. He had been shot. Shot? Yes, sir. But the doctor said he would have died of plague within 12 hours. Could be one of the Dow's crew. Yes, but why shoot him? They'd want to get rid of him quickly. A play case would connect them with the Dow. Has the body been identified yet, Sergeant? The records office is checking now, sir. Found in the harbor. Lenoir is a shipping firm. Yes, in the harbor district. Right engine, right address. Colonel, can you check if they ever carry pilgrims to Mecca? Lenoir? Yes, sir, they do. How do you know? I have made the pilgrimage to Mecca, sir. I traveled on one of their boats. I'd like to hear about the pilgrim, Sergeant. There are many tribes, sir. Many are away from their homes for a year, perhaps more. And many never return. That is true, sir. So it is not difficult for a man like Lenoir to pretend to ship a group of pilgrims to Mecca, then take them to the slave market instead. Sir, that would be very easy. The pilgrims are simple people. Yes. Ah, good. Yes. Yes, I've got it. Thanks. Good work. That was record. They've identified the dead man, a seaman named Abdul Shawaki. It's a local address, so we'll try there first. Come on, son. Is this the house of Abdul Shawaki? I'm his father. We have bad news, I'm afraid. Your son is dead. He was found shot. The Frenchman killed him. Lenoir? Yes, Lenoir. Killed my son. Did you work for him? We sailed his dows, taking pilgrims to a man. They thought they were going to Mecca. Three days out, we found two dead, four more died. We were frightened. You try to drown sick people. It was a quicker death for them. Where did they come from? They were from Akello. All of them? Yes. That's strange. Pilgrims don't usually all come from the same place. The Frenchman would say, these are special cattle from this village or that village. Take them. Lenoir. Sergeant. Quarantine the area. Start emergency inoculations right away. And burn this hovel. Put this thing on ice. He's got 16 deaths to account for. He 
You're going somewhere, Lenoir? What is it? What do you want? We've come to inspect your books. We're interested in your cattle trade. Cattle? Dead cattle. But I, I don't trade in cattle. No, you deal in slaves. And you murdered Abdul Shawaki. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I ran a straightforward business. I can prove it. Put that down. Keep away from me. You can't get away. Don't come near me. You won't get both of us, Lenoir. Practical as well as ornamental. I'll fix an escort for him. They're on the way. Look at this. Nine days ago, prime cattle, 16, Akello. A month ago, prime cattle, 19, Sutello. And here, prime cattle, 17, Kalu. Whole groups from different villages. They're not just picking up odd pilgrims. It's worse than we thought. Full-scale operation? Yes, properly organized. Him? Not alone. There must be someone bigger. Yes. Someone up country. Exactly. Someone who collects the people together and passes them down here. All right, take him away. We'd better move fast. What's your idea? Where the last group came from? Akello. Right. Colonel, how is it that you in Mombasa didn't know about the plague outbreak in Akello? It's being handled by Nairobi direct. They wouldn't publicize it for fear of starting a panic. They simply called in the army and quarantined the whole area. Has anyone else passed through, Sergeant? No, sir. Only medical supplies for the hospital. Hospital? I thought Akello was only a village. They have a clinic serving the area. There are quite a few dotted around the territory. Oh. They usually leave a nurse in charge with a doctor going the rounds. Has anyone tried to get out of your cordon, Sergeant? A few villagers, sir, but we turned them back. No strangers? We have seen no one else, sir. Good. All right, Hamid, take us straight to the hospital and push it along. Excuse me. Just catching up on sleep. Sorry to disturb you. No, that's all right. This is Inspector Duval of Interpol. How do you do? What, what do can you I do? do for you, gentlemen? Well, we are checking up on some dead men who were found on a dow which had been abandoned. We think they came from Makello. Do you want to identify them? If possible. We have some photographs, huh? We also want to find the man who sent them to Mombasa. They were intended for the slave market. Slaves? Mm. There have been rumors, of course. This isn't a rumor, I'm afraid. Do you remember a group of people who left the village just before the plague broke out? I'm afraid I don't. Yeah, you're going to have quite a job. Can you tell us anything which might help? I can't recall. These last few days have been pretty tough. I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me, doctor. Yes, nurse? It's time for injections. Thank you. Will you prepare the tray, nurse, please? Nurse, just before you go, perhaps you can help us. Look, Inspector, my nurse can't waste her time. There are still 50 people on the danger list. Then may I ask her just two questions? Very well. Quickly, please. Nurse, do you remember if a group of pilgrims left Akello just before the plague began? Yes, I remember very well. There were 15 or 16 of our young men. Was there somebody, a stranger maybe, who organized the party? They just went together. I see. Thank you, nurse. I'm sorry we can't help you. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'll go and see if anyone in the village can identify these photographs. 
I'll wait for you here. I'd like to have another word with the doctor when he's finished. Right. Nurse, is your home here in Akello? Yes, sir. You said that all the young men left together. Isn't that rather unusual? It is, a little. Before, they would go perhaps two or three at a time. What made them decide to go in a group? The journey to Mecca is long. Many of our people did not return because they were not strong enough. And now? Now they wait for the doctor. He examines them before he lets them go. Was this their own idea? Oh, no. They do the same in Sutalo and other villages the doctor visits. Sutalo? Yes. He stops there before he comes to Akello. Nurse. Injections. Yes, sir. Why are you so interested in my movements, Inspector? Nineteen pilgrims left Sutalo last month. Sixteen left from here nine days ago. The nurse says you examined both groups before they left. She was quite right. Yet you couldn't remember when we asked you just now. I am the only doctor dealing with an epidemic. Whose brain gets tired. Too tired to remember another 17 in Kalu two months ago? Inspector, if you want to check, my books will show you where I've been. So will the books of your partner. Le Noir. I have no partner. You made a big mistake, Doctor. Sixteen men left this village just before the plague broke out. They were dangerous contacts. Why didn't you report them to the medical authorities? A shot from this is as effective as a bullet. You've spoiled a very profitable business, Inspector. Selling human beings? Why not? Thousands of these people die every week. Who cares about a few hundred who are sold as slaves? They're not animals to be bought and sold. Animals are better off. They get fed, so do slaves. That should satisfy your conscience. Dr. Gorman, I want that hypodermic. Yeah. You can't get away. Thanks. It's the second time. I think I ought to get one myself. Yes, it has its uses. Especially if you don't have dirty your hands. Come on, you. Thank you. 